Hello my dear doers, welcome to another topic requested which is how to inherit the field date time widget and add different calendars like Hebrew or Islamic. There are several options here but in this video I will do first the easiest one and later we will try to create a new date time picker. In my previous tutorial I have already discussed how you can use the date time picker using client actions in Odoo version 15. Now, we are going to inherit the date time field widget in Odoo 16 which will apply to all existing widgets at once. So I have already prepared the basic necessary files for this module so that we can focus on our subject today. I have created two files which are datetimecalendar.js and datetimecalendar.xml under the static src components folder. Under the JS file, Let's declare Odoo module. We are going to inherit both date and date time field widgets, but let's import first the date field widget from web views fields date date field. As I said a while back, we will directly edit the date field widget so that it will apply to all models by importing patch from web core utils patch. As the name itself, this will be used in updating or creating new methods for a certain class. This patch method accepts the object we need to update and in this case, we need to add the date field and its prototype object. Next will be a reference to this patch and let's name it date time calendar. And then finally, an object that consists of existing methods we want to inherit or new methods we want to add. Let's first open the date field widget for us to know which method we need to inherit. Okay, we have several methods here. Let's try the setup method and add this that super method in order to not break existing functionalities. Let's console log this class itself to make sure it's working fine. Before we check, make sure you add this component to the manifest file. Restart Odoo and install the module. I have already installed the sales module for this demo, so I just need to open that module. Activate debug mode with assets, open developer tools, and check the logs, open the date field object, then prototype, look for the setup method, and as you can see, the patch name we added is showing. The first thing we need to check is the props value. Let's open one of these quotations, go back to our code, and console log this that props that value. Go back to the browser and reload the page. Okay, now we can see an object which is a Luxon date. The way we convert it then is by calling the reconfigure method and passing an object with a key output calendar. As you can see, we have different supported calendars below and you can choose whichever you want. Let's copy this code and then paste it after the value. Go back and copy this code for formatting, then import the date time from Luxon. Go back to Odoo and reload the page. Alright, now we have converted it to a Hebrew calendar. Let's also try Islamic calendar. Go back and reload. So it's working fine as well. Let's then create a new class field calendar. And before that, we need to install use state from all for this to be reactive every time the date has been changed. Now, depending on what calendar you want, you can add it here. Let's do both the Hebrew and Islamic calendars. Then now, we can just add these states in the date field widget template. Let's open it, copy the template name, and use XPAD to target the date picker component. The position will be after, then add a span element 
and use the out directive to render the calendar you want. Let's try Islamic, go back and reload. All right, now the Islamic calendar is reflecting below the default date. Before we move on, let's create a new method set calendar so that we don't need to repeat the same code. This method will simply return the same code, but now we need to pass the calendar time as a parameter. Let's replace this code with this method and pass only the calendar for Hebrew or Islamic. Go back and reload. Alright, we have achieved the same result. Next, let's solve the issue here if there's no date entered. Let's reload. And as you can see, it's throwing an error. Go back to our code. Let's only run this code if there's a date value. Let's also do this in the template to render this only if there's a date value. Go back and reload. Now we don't have any errors. The next thing now is we need to update these calendars if they change the date value. Right now, it only happens under the setup method. To solve this issue, let's check the date field widget. As you can see, it has an on date time change method. So let's copy and inherit this code. Add a super method, then update the calendar states and call the same method in the setup method, which is set calendar. However, we need to change it since we need to pass the parameter date instead of the props value. Let's replace this that props that value, change it to a date, and add it to the parameter. Now we can pass the date parameter in this method and pass the props that value under the setup method. Go back and reload. Change the date. And as you can see, the Islamic calendar is changing as well. Next, let's fix the tree view since it's still showing the default format. To solve this issue, let's go back to the date field widget and notice that they have a getter method formatted value, which is the one used in displaying the tree view or when the field is read only. Let's then copy this method and call the same method for a date field. However, other daytime fields can also call this widget, so we need to change the format as well. Let's update set calendar method and add the new parameter with the default value we added so that it will not affect existing methods. Now for the date and time field types, let's copy the same method but add a new format which is date time med. This should be this that props that value. Go back and reload. As you can see, all the dates are now in Islamic format. So now, how about the date time field widget, like the quotation date below? Well, now we can just implement the same thing. Let's copy the same code, but instead of date field, let's import date time field component from web views fields, date time, date time field, and add it to our patch method. We also need to change the formatted value since we are only expecting a date and time value, as well as the set calendar method. Go back and reload. And there you go, we have achieved the same thing. I have just shown you guys how you can directly inherit a field widget which will apply to all existing date and date time field widgets. You can use this method in other existing components as well. In the next tutorial, we are going to create a new field widget. Alright, thank you guys and see you next time.